So here's the 200 watt panels hooked up and they look pretty much normal. But we're gonna take a look with the thermal camera. So you can see right away that there are some hot spots on this soda panel, uh, on both soda panels. Those cells look like, oh, they're about 20 degrees warmer. And this one up top, we're going from 45 to 72, so almost, almost 30 degrees warmer. Uh, that's pretty significant. The power is going through the solar cells, and when it reaches those damaged cells, um, the power is being dispersed as heat, and it never makes it to the charge controller. That's the amorphous panel, and that looks pretty normal. And these are, I think, polycrystalline panels, and they're working just fine. No hot spots there. So it's just these big shattered 200 watt panels that have the issue. You can see that's at 39 degrees right there, and going to, to 72. So that's over 30 degrees difference. So these panels have really, uh, have really had it. What I'd like to do is cut the backing off and try to bypass these cells. But even then, you know, I don't, if we're wasting the power there, there could be another cell right next to it that's damaged. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these yet. Um, they really are just experimental. So I guess we'll see what happens there. But um, I think it's interesting to look at the power that the panel is producing. And so this is on the scale of watts. And you can see, let's just give it a quick rundown here. The red is a 25 watt panel. The green is a 20 watt panel. The blue are the 200 watt panels in series. So that's 400 watts. And then the yellow is the amorphous um, 75 watt panel. And, you know, if you were setting these panels you'd be going for the for the blue because it just looks better but if you look at this at this on a relative scale where the scale is the watts um, relative to the maximum rated capacity of the panel it tells a little bit of a different story so around 12 o'clock is when I wipe the snow off these panels and you can see that all of the panels except the big panels suddenly peaked in their power production um, the blue panels had a lot of trouble getting above 10%. They did it here for a second, and, um, you know, the shade was really starting to cover things, and so I think the sun really came out. But again, that, uh, they did, they did better there, but overall, they didn't do too well. Um, right around 3 p.m. is when basically all of the panels except the amorphous panel were shaded, and the sun really came out there and started producing pretty good power. Um, at one point, the amorphous panel was producing 50 watts out of a total possible 75. So, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with those panels. I would like to cut off the back, but I, I, tried, um, I tried cutting some of the backing material, and it was pretty difficult to do. So maybe I should focus on building the sun power cells solar panel and see how that performs. Well, until next time.